Okay, you've made it this far. Hopefully you spotted a couple of goodies. On my end, I was able to grab a few. All right, we have spotted a few goodies um, from Pat McGrath, and I was super excited to spot this eyeliner and lash mascara, Divine Line and Lash Duo. Um, shades of the mascara is Extreme Black, and the eyeliner or eye pencil is somewhat a black coffee so it's not all the way black but it's like a deep deep brown enough to appear as black on my skin tone and the listen swatching this it feels super good can't wait to use it on the eye you guys know already what my go-to um eyeliner is to do my um waterline is my morphe this is the mascara and the morphe liner is a true black and um i am not sure if this is a volume or length Ning mascara so this does not say whether it is voluminous or lengthening mascara or even waterproof or even anything it's just a mascara so can't wait to see how my gangsta lashes are gonna you know fight back through this mascara and um, I've been using the uh, telescopic cliff mascara from L'Oreal, this super controversial um, mascara from last year. Um, the next thing I grabbed were these, um, was this blush, no, Divine Bronzer, also from Pat McGrath, Bronze Divinity is the shade that I spotted. This has been the darkest shade that I've been spotting, that I've been able to spot at the store, but I don't believe looking at it now, like looking at it right on here, it's like, mm, I could make it work as a bronzer, but when I came home and swatched it, I guess I could make it work as a bronzer, like a light skin like type of bronzer, not nothing too deep. This is not deep enough for me, but um I can see where I could make it work and um on the face. And also as bronzer, this one is a face and body glow from Laura Geller, big body frosting. I saw a someone on youtube used this her video was probably from a long time ago but even if i didn't see the video i would probably grab this i'm loving what's going on here with the marbly effect of this product i may want to focus it on one end to get it a darker feel to this like so or a rosy feel to it like so y'all see the difference or twirl it all the way around and you get you never know what you're gonna get with this one this is a highlighter it's very subtle very like i'm there but i'm not there type of thing it's giving you blush a little bit a little bit of bronzer it's giving you a little bit of everything I love the way it sits on the skin. Um, setting that with, a, you know, a facial mist or a face setting spray would melt it into the skin and everything. So I can't wait to use that and see. And the shade is Roman Holiday. And um, I grabbed me, I was super excited when I spotted this. 
you guys could probably see why I was like super duper excited deep with vitamin E face liquid with vitamin E mineral UV tint um, sunscreen neutral undertone for flexible coverage this says deep and it looks deep and I I did not hesitate to grab it because I'm like I don't care if you're darker than me we're happy we got a deep deep um skin tint slash sunscreen for our deep skin tone girlies until I got home what is this where's the deepness L'Oreal, no, Neutrogena, where is the deepness from the deep, 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 deep you were talking about? It is a skin tint, and it's labeled as deep. Like, where's the deep? Where's the depth? Where's the deepness? Where's the... Granted, this is like a sunscreen, but if you're telling me I could wear it as my deep, on like on a deep skin tone, and it looks like that, come on now, don't do that. And you're giving me a deep chocolatey packaging like that to entice me and making me see nothing but deep, and when I open the package, it's just like, uh, this is actually a what you call their the shade range. This is actually a tan, but rather than a, a a deep. Although, I mean, I'm liking how it's sitting on the skin now. I'm liking it. It's still a little whitish though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, wah, wah, wah. Once I swatched it, I'm like, okay, this is probably going to go under my makeup. And nowhere as a regular skin tint to just put on and get it going out the day type of thing. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm confused. MAC came out with a newly formulated matte lipstick. Could have sworn I went to Ulta. I saw the packagings of these new matte lipstick looking different from their regular packaging. So we all know their regular packaging looks like this with the shade um, showing on the top with the name and it says mac and the type of lipstick it is yada 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 and their new packaging is more so like this i could have sworn i saw at ulta the new packaging being like this isn't this a new the newest mac lipstick that just dropped what's it doing at tj maxx already if it is you guys run because i was anticipating on grabbing a few of the new formula to compare it for you guys with my regular formulas that i've already had here um granted we don't use mac lipstick here in this channel a lot as much as i use morphe's but i have a few shades here they're pretty old some i should already throw away but they're still here some i have never even used but there's like this one is only it's in the pack so i'm like is this a new one didn't we have a whole bunch of the old ones liquidated at tj maxx and marshall's for the low low because of the new one that comes out these are the new packaging i went and did a little bit of digging and this one is a lot bigger than their previous one 
and we know this is the new one not only of the silver ring around the packaging with mac engraved in it and it's like a like a different type of silver this is more like a um how do i say that more metal than than this so um yeah and it feels so heavy and it's a lot bigger a lot um i mean i'm saying a lot it's just bigger in size from the first one this is our previous formula comparing to our newest formula and do we get more products on here or is it just the packaging that's a bit bigger or bulkier yeah and i'm like let me grab this and see because this is in the shade mixed media matte and it looks so pretty it's like a deep deep plum like don't mess with me type of lippies type of you know deep lip color it looks kind of velvety as you're looking at the lipstick but it's not i can't wait to, to put these on my lips to put this one on my lips probably do a nice neutral eye look and then a deep this is not a spring or summer color more so for the fall or winter yeah so yeah i'm i was so happy if it is the very newest formula i i lend it on a pot of gold and i can't wait to go out and see and spot more of this hopefully there's more around there's more where that come from and i'll get it for the low low 9.99 8.99 actually um then 21 i think they're out now for um so super excited i grabbed me these two concealers from morphe um this was an alta purchase back when i was using which video i was doing for the morphe's new foundation it kind of took me back with the concealers i was using and how much I love, love their filter effect concealer. And I don't think I have enough shades that, you know, truly fit me. So, um, I went and grabbed me two new shades. I'm really hoping I didn't repeat any shades that I already have here. So, this one is Rich 30 and we have Rich 26. And um, yeah, I'm 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 gonna enjoy these new shades for my highlight and concealing. And um, I had some points, so the two came out to probably ten or eleven dollars, when each of them were twelve dollars. So yeah, that was a little deal. Um, I'm happy I grabbed that. So that's basically it, my loves. Let me finish my yucky smoothie. Well, it's good for me, but it somewhat tastes a little yucky. And um, get myself my face ready. And I have my hair oil dripping down. That may not be a good thing when I'm about to do a beat down look for y'all. Because the oil might mess things up for me a little. Perhaps I should wait for tomorrow. Um, okay, I'll wait tomorrow. Stay tuned for a new uh, makeup look to come. I hope you enjoyed this little itty bitty haul and the full TJ Maxx and Marshall trip. I hope you guys are having a blessed Saturday. Full, well, solar eclipse on Monday. Hope you guys are ready for that. And um, I'll see you guys on another one.